Hello and welcome back. I'm Dave and I'm doing facecam again. We just now made the jump over to Substance Painter where we're going to utilize the UV tiles we created in Houdini. And a reminder, the full video is already on my Patreon. Here we have the software open fresh without a project. So let's create a new one. There's already a template for Unreal, which defines the naming convention and the kind of textures it will output in the end. I keep it at a 2K resolution. I have Compute Tangent Space for Fragment tagged on. And here is the key for this workflow. I also tag Use UV Tile Workflow. This is what makes Substance look out for the UDIM tiles we provided in Houdini. Now I select the FBX file that I just created. And there we have it. The create is here and we can also see that the UDIM workflow worked as well. I want to make use of smart materials, so I need to bake the texture maps as a first step. Go to Edit, Bake Mesh Maps and start the process. Here you can once again choose the output size. I put that back to 2K and then you would usually define how Substance should determine what texture sets belong together. If we would have created a material on each group, again using the shop material path attribute, we would set this to by mesh name to help Substance to figure out what belongs together. But we don't really need that. We have the UV tiles to do that for us. But let's bake the selected textures now. I'm going to ignore that I have all the potential of Substance Painter at my disposal. The UDIM workflow would also allow me to paint across the tiles. Just take a brush and start painting. For example, creating scratches that cross over the two parts of the top. That's another benefit of this approach. But at the moment I don't need that fancy stuff. I just want a quick and dirty result to just slap on smart materials. But even so, I still need to be able to use different kinds of materials. Having only one material set applies the smart material across the whole mesh. When I export the textures in the end, this will create a texture for color, one for normals and one texture with the packed information of ambient occlusion, roughness and metallic. But it will create the set of textures for each UV tile which sounds as if we end up with as many textures as before and creates as much work in Unreal. But that's not the case and you will see why soon. In Substance, you can create folders which act like groups. Let's say I want the top of the crate to use a different material than the rest. So I create a folder named top. And here I press this mask icon to open the properties of the geometry mask. With the UDIM workflow, it lists all the UDIM tiles and I can hover over the 2D view, go over the list or hover over the 3D view. Each time the currently active UDIM tile is highlighted. By clicking on the individual tiles, it is toggled to be either active or inactive in the current mask. That means whatever is done inside this group is only visible on the active tiles. When I now drop the smart material on the mesh, everything is still affected because it creates a new layer on top of our folder. But when we now drag and drop this layer in our folder, the mask take effect and the material is only visible on the active tiles. Now let's drag the yellow smart material on the mesh. Again, everything is affected, but again, it just works like layers you might know from Photoshop. The new material is on top and when we switch the order and the top group is the first material, then it does nothing with the lower section. That allows the yellow material of the layer below to be visible. Let's just assume this is already the look we want for the crate. Ugly and yellow. And prepare to leave to the next software. Go to Export Textures. And here we already have a template for Unreal selected. This will do the trick. Here you can see once again that we only use one texture set using four different output maps. We do not have anything emissive, so only three will be created and we get one texture for each tile. This is just an example and could of course be optimized. For instance, most of the tiles wasted a lot of space, so we could have scaled the UVs up to make more use of the outgoing texture. 
Another option would be to create less textures. We could have combined the top and the platform on one tile. I only wanted the difference between the top and the lower grade. All I would need to change for that is the index attribute for the two top halves and the platform. If I would set that to one for all of them, they would share one tile. But for now, let's waste a bit of space and have more texture files than needed. The question was, is that an issue in Unreal? So let's head over to Unreal and use these textures. 